Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial will be showing you how to install, how to migrate your WordPress from a local host to a live server using um, using a plugin to do that. So without wasting most time, most of our time, we we'll head straight to the to our plugin and then we we'll click on Add Plugin. Remember, in order for you to to do this, you are using a local host and then you need to be connected to the internet to access WordPress repository. So once you're at WordPress repository, you're going to create, you're going to search for a, a plugin called Duplicate. Yeah, Duplicator. Yeah, we're going to see, yeah, this is the plugin we'll be using, Duplicator WordPress migration plugin. You will install it on your local host. And again, remember, in order to do this from your local host dashboard, you need to be connected to the internet so you can access WordPress repository. If you're not connected to the internet, you will get an error on this page. So now that the duplicator plugin has been um, has been uh, installed, what you do next is you go to the plugin and then you go to packages. You're going to see there is no package found. What you do now is you create a new package. Create a new package. This is it. And then you click on next. It's going to scan the site. And everything is good. And then you click on build. Why it's building? Uh, using plugin is is why it's, it's faster and it's it's quite easier and straightforward. Okay. Uh, now it's done. What you, what you do is you download this installer file and then you download this archive file as well. You can just do so by clicking on this. You can do so by clicking on this. To download both files uh, at the time so now the the advantage of using uh plugins is since your website is uh, not large it can be fast but in a situation whereby your website is very very large this process might take a, a while might take a while so once that is done once we're done with this we now head straight to uh the cpanel our cpanel the cpanel want to move our WordPress, uh, our local host installation tool. Now, what you do is you go to File Manager here, and then in the File Manager, you come to Public HTML. But in a situation whereby you're using a subdomain, you can just locate the subdomain and then click on the subdomain. Once you're here, you go to Upload, then you upload the files that was downloaded, that was created by you by for you by the duplicator plugin you, you're going to upload this these files so once you're done uploading it or if you have a faster internet connection this won't take more time it's just going to be faster so while we wait for for, for the uh, installation to complete i'm sorry for the upload to complete we'll go head back to our um uh, cpanel dashboard and then we'll go we'll locate uh we're going to locate uh um database we're going to locate database where is database yeah mysql database and we're going to create a new database we'll call the database my website website if I don't want to create it once this is done remember remember to save it DB then we're going to create a database user and then the password for the user Okay, we now head back. Now go down and create a user. Our user will be my user. And then the password, we generate the password for this. Then we we'll close it and set the password. And then we we'll create. Remember to store the password you use. And then you copy this. Copy these details, we'll be using it. 
good once this is done you're going to need to add this user to the database we've created remember the name of the database we created my website so and the user we created my user for my website make sure it's the same database name my website database user my user yep this are the same you now click on add and then you select all privileges and then you make yep once that is completed we now head back to our upload okay our upload is complete we close that and then uh, on our live server what you do next is your domain the domain your domain name this is our domain name you now type your domain name slash install.php this install.php is installer.php you see I almost i nearly made a mistake that we just copy it installer.php now paste it is the same now click wait for it to initialize all right now we're here we're going to the next thing we do we now select the advance so now they're asking us for our database database name remember our database name yep this is our database name I'm going to set it and then this is our user and then this is for the password then this is for the password remember to select action uh, what kind of database are you doing are you using we are using an empty database so we're selecting this empty database so we'll now click on validate okay everything is good everything is good we have a notice though it's not of much importance uh wordpress installation will also work on version 7.4 however our uh, local host php version is 8.1 the latest version it doesn't really matter you can you can choose to change that in order to change that to match you can just head to your dashboard and then you search for php version php version then you select select a php version then you can select the PHP you want to use which is this PHP and then you save it once that is done once you select it it saves automatically now head back head back to our duplicator so you now have to accept all terms and I think we might encounter an error yeah make sure this is our new URL this is where we're saving it uh, and then just you cross check and confirm it um, yep mm -hmm. everything is going you click on next please try again issue or call ajax error status error okay okay we'll go back uh, Okay, everything is fine. Click on next. Yep, everything is fine. Now you can check for admin accounts if you want. If you wish to reset, this is a wonderful plugin. It also gives you option if you wish to reset your password to uh, a new password, or you can you can even create a new admin account here. You can cross check your plugins, select which plugin plugins you want to forge ahead with or which you doesn't you don't want. You can see. Uh, then you click on next. Okay, everything seems good. Now you can just click in order to complete the installation, you need to click on admin login. But remember also always remember to check this. What this does is it automatically de uh, deletes the installer files. Uh, from your site in order to secure your site it's highly recommended that you do that then you now click on admin admin login and then in admin login remember our login details for 
our local host we'll be using the login details for our local host the same login details uh, yeah this is the password voila our migration is successful everything looks fine everything looks fine you can see all catch catches on wordpress default has been purged all catches on wordpress permalink has also been purged this is wonderful what this means is that remember when we did the manual installation we had to go and update our permalink but with this you can see there is no need to update our permalinks for this to load properly because it has been purged if you go to the pages the same thing everything is fine everything looks fine so then the next thing you need to do next most other thing you need to do is head on to your plugin on your live server and then you deactivate the duplicator plugin uh, yep you deactivate the duplicator plugin and then you delete the plugin because you don't need it anymore it has performed its job so it's no longer needed and our wordpress installation has been successfully migrated from our local server to our live server with no hassle thank you thank you thank you for watching the video to to this far now when you come here you also go to your uh cpanel and refresh to make sure that the, ins the installer files have been deleted you can see the files have been deleted it's no longer here so everything is good we are good to go thank you for, for sticking with us to this this far uh, we promise to upload more exciting tutorials and for you remember to follow our channel and then hit the bell button so you get a notification on our latest updates and uploads and also don't forget to drop your comments wherever you're confused or you